Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannalord, a Let's Play tutorial series. So, full disclosure, I had actually already recorded this episode and there were some audio issues. I made an announcement on my website about said audio issues. Uh, so, here's the thing, why I'm disclosing this. I, I sort of know the future. <laughs> I know, a little strange, but because I am re-recording it, Due to those glitches, because the recording I made was wrong, I know more or less what's going to happen to me in this next uh, 45 minutes or so. Um, which gives me, it's going to seem like I'm a little omniscient, because I know politically what's going to happen, etc, etc, etc. But, um, with that said, I carry on. <laughs> so, if you're wondering, like, how did he know that? Yeah, I already know some things are going to happen, uh, because... I experienced them once already, uh, so I'll fully disclose, I, I won't play be coy. Uh, I know, for instance, that Kuzate is likely to declare war on me pretty soon. Right now, if uh, if I want to remind you all, uh, Azurai I'm currently at war with, and Sturgia I'm at war with, but that's a bit of a joke. Sturgia has an army that's currently besieging Abcomer, uh, here they are, Asta's army. Um, and as soon as I crush them, you know, they're done. They're, we can settle out for peace. Uh, Ragnvad actually just escaped from captivity. I wonder where he is now. But, um, but I want to disclose that because I do intend on riding down to, um, to sort of Azrai territory to try to capture it as much as I can. But I do know that, um, probably, certainly, or pro I should say probably, probably what will happen is that... Uh, I will be attacked by uh, Kuzate shortly thereafter. And, yes. I just wanted to be transparent about the fact that I kind of know that that's coming. Everyone! To me! Because I know, historically, uh, for Mountain Blade, what things, if you save scum, um, events tend to happen anyway. Because the events trigger due to, like, political you know, situ political Soldiers! situation, things like that, so, um, Soldier, on shield wall! so with that said, uh, the reason Kuzate's gonna declare war on me is cause, you know, they're bigger or whatever, it doesn't really matter what the reason is, but, uh, why I divulge that is, those, the situation isn't different, Archer! so they're likely to still do it. Alright, so there's obviously a river here, and this river is going to ruin Asta's ch Ooh, right in the head, huh? Uh, ruin Asta's chance to do anything to me. In fact, I just shot her. And then I shot one of my sibling's horses, I think. Yeah, you're all blocking me. Can I get Asta? Nope, I'm just shooting another horse. Oh, sh she's... Her horse is down. And she's down. Alright, there goes Asta. That's, uh, like, Ragnvad's daughter or something. Infantry! No! I'm gonna have my infantry pull up to the, uh, basically the shoreline. And then I'll probably end up putting my crossbowmen, like, at the shoreline. So that there's no chance that these guys do anything to me. They're getting, like, so unbelievably shredded it's ridiculous. So let's line up my arrows along the shore. Because they are going to have reinforcements, and I am just going to hold this shore because the AI is stupid. Alright. My stupid cavalry get out of my way. I keep bumping into them, and I'm just tired of it. Alright, so if their footmen are coming in here... I'll line them up mine here. I'm also sort of armchair generaling right now because I'm wounded. Quite, quite wounded. And I don't want to get downed or whatever. So I'm taking minimal risk. Well, that horse should be dead. I do see that they have some archers in the back that we'll need. Oh, you know what I could do? 
I'll put my cavalry over there. I am getting shot at though, and I did say I wanted to stay safe, so gotta be careful. There we go. The Imperial Fusilari. Yeah, you did. One of the beautiful things, as soon as they enter the river, they just come to a grinding halt. Makes it very, very easy to shoot things. Oh, ouch. I say it makes it easy to shoot things, and then I continue to miss a lot in a row. <laughs> Whoa, that guy just went flying. Alright, I'm gonna call my uh, cavalry back. They're kinda getting. No, don't shoot me. They're kinda getting a uh, meat grindered over there. Because I put them forward, all of their infantry decided to pivot, and I kinda ruined actually my advantage here. Oh well. Move. Infantry. I'm rotating. Soldiers. Get mounted on. I'm gonna pull my cavalry back because they're wounded. And uh, uh no touchy. Round a bit. All right, I'm gonna put my archers back on the shore because they do have incoming infantry that I would like to shoot at. Oops, I didn't mean to be here. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Did you have some cavalry? And I know I was saying I was going to keep safe, but I do not want my, these stupid cavalry to harass my uh, infantry that are being reinforced. Ooh, you are the headless horseman. Oh, you hit it. Uh uh. Uh uh. Whoa, that was... Okay, okay. Enough of you. Yep, bye-bye. Right. I'm still working on getting their cavalry away. Despite the fact that I have almost no HP. in the head. I don't see any back there. Pull my cavalry back again. I keep overextending on the other river bank and that's not good. Oh, here's a cavalry. right up on his blind spot. Oh, you're a little cheeky. The cavalry here just keeps going around the blind spots. Oh, you're about to get slammed. Yep, don't need to worry about you. <laughs> he's, he's gone. Got the horse at least. I'll tell my uh, my cavalry to follow me as long as they don't block me. It's fine. They do like to block me a lot, though, as you can see. 
Oh, you blocked yourself. You're dead. I don't even need to touch you. Oh, come on, guys. Fine, I'll do it myself. Alright, so we're just about over this fight. Even though we the numbers were very much in our favor, uh, they did have 300 or so troop. So... Far from a freebie. Right, telling everyone to charge now, because they really do just have a few archers on the other riverbank. And that's not hard to clear out. Looks like there's cavalry over here. Yes, there are. Oh, dude, that was a big miss. Alright, he's dead. What do they got left? One archer. And that should be it. Alright, lost 11, killed 180. Almost a 18 to 1 ratio. Uh, Voldrat, I did back you up, so you should be a little happier about that. Nemos of the Embers, you're my prisoner. Asta, you are also my prisoner. And there is a huge amount of prisoners that I could take. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ditch, I'll add all of the current prisoners that I have that want to join me. And then I want to pick out prisoners from this subset that are high level and uh, worth either recruiting or worth ransoming. Because some of these guys are really, really, really high level, as you can see, a tier 6. Um, so I'm going to pull the tier 5s and 6s first. Uh, I'm still under my capacity, so that's good. Alright, I've hit capacity. So, yep, there we go. That's the prisoners I'm going to take. Any good weapons or armor? Uh, there's a war horse, that's good. And that's about it. Alright, my next step is to head up to Pen Kanak. Now that uh, uh, Sturgy is essentially a non-issue, they're knocked out of this fight. Um, so, if we look at diplomacy, rah, they want they want payment. Oh, that's really funny. Uh, I'm not going to settle out with them. If they want me to pay them, I'm simply not going to. But I do have Bash, who has bows. Well, let's give you Bodkin, so you, you armor pierce a little bit. Now, there are some things that I wanted to point out from tips. One is Sam the Hacker mentioned that Varric, my brother, is ready to be added uh, to my army. So I'm going to go pick him up in just a second here. Which means, uh, when I go and sell some of the loot from this battle, I should keep some of the armor because it might be good for Varric. Alright, so Ransom Broker, that's not really what I meant to do. All of these really, really high levels that will never join me, I will ransom off for oodles and oodles and oodles of money. I'm going to keep these Sturgeon uh, prisoners prisoner to take them out of the fight. So that's uh, almost 4k of prisoner ransoms. And then as far as trade goes, uh, your... Wow, that is really expensive armor. Uh, your siblings are going to have really good horses and horse armor. They're also going to have a good shield and good weapon. They are not, however, going to have good bows or anything like that. So that's what I'm looking to keep. If I have good ones, which it seems like I do not. But I will keep this um, Rusty Spatha, because it's a level 5 weapon. That might be better for my uh, for my brother. As far as shields go, yeah, there's nothing there. I'll, uh, I'll probably end up buying gear for him, to be honest. So, here are some mittens that maybe he wants, some chainmail maybe he wants, fur helmet. I think the bearskin's better. Yeah, the bearskin's better than the crack-studded strip shoulders, even though these are uh, higher level and more expensive. They're actually numerically inferior. Alright, sell all that. That's a lot of money. Uh, 50k so far. Uh, another thing I wanted to do is to buy some war horses, uh, because buy some desert horses and war horses so that my troops can level up. I do have some people that are, uh, some troops that are going to become knights soon, and if they don't have war horses, they won't be able to be promoted. Selling all the non-foods. 
All right, so the rest of this is food. I have 91 days until no food, so I have a ridiculous amount of food. In fact, uh, I'm going to sell some of my grain and grapes just because it's weighing down my army. And I don't need that much food. I now have, like, months and months and months of food still. All right. So at this point, taking a look, Varric is at Ortisia. That's where I'm going to ride first. Ortisia does happen to be uh, on the way to uh, Azurai, so that is helpful. And then I'm also going to drop some cohesion into my army so I don't disband. Mm, I'll help Voldrat again, why not? I'm just going to send troops. Because it's faster. And that will make him happier. I don't know who he is. Who is he? Vol. He's probably a mercenary. Yeah, he's the Sklova Bravata or whatever. Alright, Abcomer Castle. We'll go to Vipon because he literally doesn't own a castle. That's kind of a no-brainer. Definitely, definitely don't have landless vassals in your employ. Another thing that I wanted to do is add Luchin. Um, because I took the castle from him. I took uh, Lenark Hen Castle. Uh, but here's the thing. In the last time I recorded this episode, where it all bugged out or whatever, I tried to add Luchin, and I realized that Luchin is in uh, Kaladog's army fighting Kuzate. So again, I wanted to disclose that I do kind of like, I'm a seer, I know the future. Uh, so right now, he's an Andern, and if I look at Kaladog, let's see if he's an Andern. No! Kaladog's not an Andern. So, uh, I guess... I am detouring towards Andern because Andern is not where Kaladog is. So my last uh, last episode, what I did was I went out to Luchin and found that he was uh, rolled in to Kaladog's army because the Batanians and the Kuzates are at war with one another, and he was currently in the middle of a war with, you know, Kuzate and, and yeah, whatever. But this time around... Um, this time around, it seems like uh, it seems like I might be able to recruit him. So I, I want to do that because uh, for several reasons. One, I'm friends with him. Oh, Giffer just got captured by looters? For real? I like don't even feel bad for you, dude. That is embarrassing. The other problem is the longer I wait, like so, if it takes a while for me to track down Luchin. Uh, I do have an, a giant army that I'm feeding that I don't want to disband because then I have to pay for them to rejoin me. Monchuk of Kuzates grants Balgard to Apsis. Okay. Um, so, I guess... Yes. Kuzate just took Balgard from Batanians. And then a bunch of Valanians got taken prisoner by Azurai. So the Valanians just lost uh, Tubalius Castle to the Azurai, and I definitely want to take that from the Azurai, so I'm actually quite excited about that. Uh... You were seen near Andern two days ago. Let me check in. Flintolk Castle. Okay, so you went northish. Giffer escaped. Monchug Kuzates just got Chinopsis Castle. Where is that? Uh, here it is. Uh, yeah. I bet Kuzate's about ready to declare war on me. And Unquid takes uh, Tublis. Okay. So, Luchin, you're at Kargrev? Yep. You're going northeast towards Varcheg. My guess is he's faster than me, given the number of troops that I have in my army. I do also have some non-Valandians um, that I was going to give up. Oh, you know what? I didn't mean to have Asta and Nemos in my... Oh, well. In my prisoner list. I meant to put them. Lenonok Castle. I am going to also give to Vipon as well. So now he went from zero territories to two territories. You're welcome. Just the majority of, uh, supported that, and I don't want to waste my influence 
you know, saying no, I guess. Uh, taking a look at my parties, Can could use troops, and Damien could use one. So let's give these troops to Can. So you are shy six, so one, two, three, four, five. Now I got you close. Come on, Lucian. I got a war to fight. I don't, I can't, I can't spend time tracking you down. Cost me influence and everything else. At Rodobas. Oh man, he is, he actually might be in someone else's army. Because it seems to me like he's riding straight at, um, Kuzate. Talon leveled up. Talon, what do I want to give you? Uh, I'll give you athletics. Your athletics was low. Uh, Tice. So they are raiding stuff down here, but they haven't actually done a siege, and it looks like Niskator is going after Tublis himself. Uh, previous to this war, I owned everything left of this river, and I still do. Zalm and Awilatas, or whatever it's called, is being besieged, but it, seeing that they're not taking castles or towns, it, sh it says to me that they aren't strong enough down there to do that yet. Alright, my mercenaries left me. It's fine. Uh, in, a, in a way, that actually speeds me up. Because then I have a small army. So, of castles where you are now, yeah, you're definitely marching straight at uh, straight at uh, Kuzate. There's no doubt about that in my mind now. I'm going to still see if I can talk to him. Maybe he's on his own and not wrapped up in an army. Oh, wow. The mercenaries really liked me. I don't know what I did for that relationship bump, but I'll take it. I'm going to check in at Av to see if Lucian's moved. He's it here. You know what it's going to be? It's going to be like some sort of critical fail. Either he's going to be in an army and I'm not going to be able to talk to him, as I honestly think that that's probably the case. Or, I'll yeah, he's in Kaladog's army? Okay. I'm just going to double check, but yeah. That's, that checks out. Oh, hey, Ragged Well. There, Kusate just declared war on me. I did say that I kind of knew that was coming. Um, which means nothing to me right now. It'd be good to imprison Ragnvad, because he's, you know, then I could settle out for peace. But he's a teeny, teeny little army, so it's going to be damn near impossible to catch him. And Kaladog, you have Luchin. He's right here. Okay. You can't actually convince uh, someone to join you when they're in... Uh, when they're in a... an army, so... Instead, what I'm going to do is set my eyes towards some low-hanging fruit of the Kuzates. It looks like uh, Kuzate in the north has their hands full because the Batanians are pushing them, and they're definitely going to take uh, Ballgard. I, there's 100 defenders and a two, 20, uh, 1,200 attackers, so it's a 12 to 1 ratio. That's just not even a, not even a thought. They're gone up there. Uh, Unquid is defending Tublius, but from whom? Is it from Niskator? Or Nikasor? What is his name? Nikasor? He was seen at Tublius Castle. He was taken prisoner by Unquid. So, Nikasor's army lost. That's good to know. So, I'm in a two front war, and that's going to be a bit of an annoyance. Kaladog of the Batanians just gave something, gave Balgard up to someone. My guess is it's probably Luchin, and there goes my entire chance to hire Luchin, I would guess, just given my luck. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on, Ragnarvan. You want to be at war with me? Uh, let's see. Trust him? Did you catch him? Trust is moving 4-6. Oh, no. He's still faster. Okay, don't even worry about trust him. Just come on back. Alright, we are going to roll down to maybe Sinopia. But I'm going to double check that I'm not losing anything down south. No, they're just raiding villages. And they're not villages I own, so I don't much care. I know that's callous of me to say, but... Bellathor, taking prisoner by... So, Bellathor, where were you last? Because there's obviously a fight there. You were at Popsia, or somewhere near Popsia. So, there is a fight going on near Sestadheim Castle. Got it. I'm going to stop in at Epicatria just to buy maybe a variety of food. Stuff like that. Alright, trade. Let's also buy some war horses. I am very, very, very wealthy. And it makes sense. Uh, so horses, I think I bought the only war horse. Wow, they have a lot of saddles. Yeah, I bought their only war horse. The Landia Corsair. Okay, that's fine. I haven't picked up my brother yet. I am aware. You needn't point that out to me. You have a lot of grain and fish here. I could use a little fish, but not too, too much. Oh, you know what? They had other foods. They just didn't have a lot of them. They had some... Butter, meat, cheese, grapes. I, I have a lot of money, so I don't really mind buying them. Alright, Crusades. I was indeed right. They did declare war on me. I do want Crusade and Batani to share a significant border. So I'm not looking to um, grab territory that stops that from being true. So I'm going to go after Sestadheim Castle first. Uh, who did I barter? Tubulius was raided by Tassinor of Seralandia. So, Tubulius is under siege by me, and just it's being defended by four. I don't think, unless Tassinor has an army, he's going to fare all that well. Just floating that idea that he's probably not going to win. Zeercorcus is now under attack. Where? What is Zeercorcus? Oh, interesting. They're near Zianica. Ah, they really came north. Okay, so I'm going to still go towards Sestadam Castle unless something more important gets attacked. But Zeocorcus is something I do own. Because I own Zio Zianica. I think. I don't even know what I own. Yeah, uh, I own Zianica. Um, but I'm more concerned with... Oh, Nemos escaped. I'm more concerned with um, doing damage to Kuzate than Azurai. Um, oh, hey, the Valandians just kicked. Uh, so the Valandians retook uh, Tublius Castle, and because Valandia is at war with Azurai, they're sort of defending me accidentally, of sorts, in that area. Works to my advantage, I don't mind. Alright, I'm going to swing by Amatatis, and then where's my brother now? He's at Zianica. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe I'll swing by Zianica and pick him up, and defend whoever's raiding around Zianica first before going to Sestertime Castle. To give my brother some um, battle experience, I suppose. Alright, so an Azurai horse is a war horse. It's actually the one I currently use. I don't really mind the prices now, because I'm just so dang wealthy. I know that's uh, weird to say, but it is true. Ooh, you guys got beer. I will take all of your beer. So yeah, let's go to Zionica first to try to pick up Varric. Death of Valandians gave it to Ospir. Oh, what about Luchin? Does he now own Balgard? 
yeah, he owns Ballguard. Okay, I thought that was the case. So whoever was raiding Zeocorcus stopped. I'm guessing because one of my vassals stopped them. And I don't know where they went from here. But I just ransomed Astabak. Uh, the war with Sturgia. We could make a flat piece. I'm not even really worried about them, honestly. I don't, I don't care. Ooh, I want to talk to Krotor if I could catch up to him. He's uh, the leader of the Legion of the Betrayed to get a little bit more mercenary support. I'll talk. I'll, I'll try to track him down after bringing him up, brother. Bringing him my brother is more important to me. So, go to the keep. Hi, Varric. Bring you to the party. And then, let's dress you. That sounds weird. But let's uh, let's give you equipment. So, you started off with a reasonably okay helmet. Um, terrible shoulder pads, which I have slightly, slightly better. You have no gloves. You have no armor. You have terrible boots. Um... So these pieces of armor I can ditch. You have no bow, so let's get you a bow. I'll sort by value, so I'll give you piercing arrows. And... What is the best? Uh, step bow. I'm going to steal your heavy round shield, because it's actually better than the Highland round shield. And your... Weapon that you have is better than mine, so I'm going to sell mine then. I could hypothetically give him the really good weapon that I bought for myself that's worth, like, a lot of money. The one-hander? I'm going to do that. Because I'm not using it, and I just feel bad that I'm, like, keeping it. So I'm going to give him the best one-hander, and uh, keep... No, you know, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna sell the heavy round shield so that all of my vassals have the same highland round shield. So that they're uniform to some degree or another. Uh, in terms of horses, you have a pure blood, which is great, and a chain horse harness, which is better than my horse armor. So, like, you're fine on that front. Uh, so I would say, as far as armor goes, um, you could use better armor, and there you have it, better shoulders, and there you have it, and better boots. And there you have it. And maybe better gloves. Alright, so 42,000 to really rig him up nicely uh, is fine. 40,000 rather. 17 and 9 is his armor. That's pretty comparable to my own. 26. His body armor is only... It's tier 6. Dang. It's 26, 12, 12. What is mine? 44, 15, 8. So mine is significantly, significantly better. Um, but yeah, actually, his horse armor... I'm gonna steal his horse armor. Shamelessly. So we'll give him the lesser stuff, and I'll take the best stuff for myself. It doesn't look as good, I would say. But, you know, whatever. Alright, done. So now Varric is very, very, very well geared. And before I go to Sestadime Castle to kick some Kuzate butt, uh, let me... Hi, Kareth. Raiding Zia Corcus, are you? Uh, Trustin, could you catch him? He's Azurai, so maybe not. Azurai are notoriously fast because they use a lot of horses. Yo, Trustin, could you, like, move at all? So you're third, 3 2, he's 3 4. Yeah, you're not going to catch. Uh, it would make sense to have one of my vassals have, like, an entirely cavalry army. Or, I guess it would be cavalry at that point. Uh, for movement speed purposes. So Kareth is being annoying here, but given my lack of movement speed, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch him. So, instead, let's turn my ire towards Sestadime Castle, because someone like uh, Kareth is not also going to take Zianica, right? Like, he's not just going to take Zianica by himself. But before I go, I would like to put a bunch of my prisoners away. So, go to the keep. Go to the garrison first. Okay, there's pretty much nothing in the garrison. Go to the dungeon. And... I'm going to recruit all of the people that will join me, so I can put them in the garrison. And then put all the prisoners away, so I have the most, um, most room possible. 
I know that some of my um, companions could use an extra troop or two, but like one or two troops isn't really that big of a deal. Alright, so Varric, you're going to be on Cavalry Formation 3. I've got 28 days of food. I'm going to try one more pass at Kareth here. Giffer just got taken prisoner by Tynops, so where were you? That's the second time he's been prisoner this month. So he was north near Vargos Castle. So Vargos Castle might be under attack soon, under siege. I'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, Popsy is raiding something. Are you a leader, Botter? I don't think you are, but... Nope. Actually, the leader's dead. So who's leading, then? I kind of want to talk to you. I don't know how... Oh, uh, well, you're going to dodge me, so whatever. Sedron of Saralanda taken prisoner by Bolot of the Cusates. Sedron, where were you? You were near Vargos Castle. All right, I'm going to ride to Vargos Castle first before I even bother with Sestadime, because it seems like Vargos Castle is popping off, and it's probably about to be under siege. I'd imagine. Sora taken. So Sora, where were you? Probably near Vergos. Yes, everything is happening near Vergos Castle. Got it. I'm just going to see if there's... Nope, there's no one in garrison. There are some prisoners, and a bunch of these prisoners are indeed Valandians. So I'm going to bring them around with me so I can recruit them. It'll slow me down a little bit, but it will help replenish my numbers, which might be more important. Galden just got taken prisoner by the Azurai as well. But not Kuzate, so that might be in a different spot. Uh, Galden, where were you? You were... Okay, so he was attacking. Or defending Mijayit, or whatever. The Azurai really hasn't made inroads in the south. That's why I'm focusing on Kuzate. Alright, so Vergo's Castle, here I come. There's Belathor, probably just escaping from... A loss of sorts. I'd imagine. And Fenoria. Yeah, there's a lot of, um... There's Sega. Are we gonna win this one? No, you're gonna lose. So, Andros just got captured. Well, what if I go straight after Sinopia? That's gonna get their attention. There's only 200 defenders of Sinopia. I don't know why it's so under-defended, but, uh... If you ain't gonna defend it, I'ma besiege it. So they started with a few ballista, and they're making two catapults. Uh, someone just escaped from my Legata prison. Penella just dis escaped. Uh, and Azurai just got ransomed, so I got the ransom money. I gained a level. Nice. Well, I could put it toward leadership. I don't think any of the leadership perks exist yet, though. So maybe I'll put it towards athletics. Because I'm super, super, super slow. And I'd like to level up athletics a little faster. Alright, so it's actually all ballistae. Which is pretty low damage for a city. So as far as I can tell, I'm not being under siege anywhere else. Where are you? Tine ups? Alright. Ruma of Azurai taken prisoner by Nikasaur. So Nikasaur. Where are you? You are down south near Mijayit, the town that was being sieged. Besieged. 
Unquido Azurai decided to make peace with the Northern Empire. Okay. I don't think Northern Empire really exists, so that's kind of a non-issue. And as soon as our third one rolls out, I'm going to go to war. So we do have some defenders that are stacking up. Uh, this is probably Tynips. I... What is... Why can't I... Tynips, yeah. Which I don't really care about, because they're small. Puny, puny lord. All, right, all three trebuchets are now out. And we are in full assault mode. I'm going to keep making uh, siege equipment anyway, just in case I A, need it, or B, want the experience for it. Uh, they do have some numbers here, but nothing that's concerning me, and I think... Uh, let me double check, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, make peace with Sturgia? Sure. I'm not gonna... I don't care. Sachanis wanted it, and, uh... What? I'm paying them? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Sachanis. Now you're pissing me off. I figured it was gonna be a flat piece, a white piece, but nope, it wasn't. It was conditional. Alright, so here's a bunch of Kuzades who uh, want a piece of me. Oh, and they have a real... There's Munchug. Uh, who's nearby? There's no one nearby, but I'm not backing down. If he wants to fight, he gets to fight. Even if it is... We're ridiculously going to be outnumbered. Funny enough, I don't even see him. Oh, does he have to go all the way around? Yeah, I think he has to go all the way around. That's kind of funny. Um, I'll ask for backup, because if we do fight, um, it's going to be considerable losses, I'm guessing. Given that they outnumber us 1.6 to 1, or 1.8 to 1. Actually, I don't even see Monchunk. So, one, one of the things I was going to check is, Kuzate, you're still at war with Batania. So, it's possible that Monchug was moving towards a Batanian uh, siege point. Oh, no, he's coming. Okay. He's just Monchugging along. Oh. I'm going to do something... Yeah, dastardly, which is lead an assault right before he gets here. Because we did break one wall, and um, <laughs> I'd rather have the town to myself and defend it, I guess. Because this is not going to... I, I need to make sure that I don't get hurt in this fight, but this is not going to be a very difficult to uh, besiege town because they don't have a lot of numbers. They're already uh, diminished immensely. They start off with a really small defense force. And, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna tell everyone to charge, because they're waiting for siege equipment or something. I don't know. They're probably waiting for the battering ram. But given that they're all, like, just tier 2 spearmen, this is going to be a straight slaughter. It's a bunch of inexperienced spearmen against my, like, elite... You know, they're basically farmers with sticks. So I told them all to charge. Looks like some of them are going up the wall. There's a respawn point here, so I'm kind of just sitting here, because I'm sure they're going to respawn soon. I don't know, maybe I'll join in the fun. I think I have to go backwards up the stairs with the horse, though. Yep. I feel like a BMX biker. Alright, 
so I do see a few of their archers up here and a respawn point over there. As you can see by the kill feed, it is very one-sided, and despite besieging a town, I'm not taking significant losses, so we're going to be able to take this town and still have plenty of numbers to fight uh, Monchug, the leader of the Kuzates. But given the time left on the clock, uh, that's going to be the cliffhanger. So there we are. Literally three people died, seven got wounded, so that's basically nothing in the bigger scheme of things. Uh, we did manage to take some prisoners. And I leveled up some of my own troops. A few. In terms of loot, nothing that special. And now, and now, the funny part is um, that Monshug, if he wants to fight me, I am now in a castle. Maybe one with some busted, busted walls, but like, I'm still in a castle. And, uh, yeah, he's going to have to fight me out of it, which is a much, much more difficult position to be in, uh, I think, personally. So, there you have it, uh, an episode which will air, uh, so I apologize for the last episode where it did not, That's it was my fault, I had some audio issues and I didn't catch them until the audio, or the entire episode was recorded. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will catch you all next episode. Farewell.